Hey yo! Today we're talking about Warhammer 40,000 Darktide, a game that's set to release in November. And I got the chance to play the beta over the weekend and really get a feeling for it. Well, I'm sure we're all happy that a new Warhammer game's coming out. However, I don't think we should overlook the issues for a game that's gonna come out in a month, which I'll go over towards the end of the video. Darktide shows a lot of promise. The gunplay is solid, the melee is addictive, the music and overall sounds are amazing. The game's graphics are spectacular. And the overall consensus is that it feels more engaging than the predecessor Vermintide 2. Let's move on to characters. There are four classes. The Psyker, Psychonetic, Ogren, Skullbreaker, Zealot, Preacher, and the Veteran, Sharpshooter. I probably pronounced one of those wrong, but hopefully I didn't. Each character is going to have their own abilities and weapon specials, as you see. Each character will have their specialty as well in melee and or supporting or long range combat. So if you're playing the Ogren Skullbreaker, you're going to be specializing in melee and co close range and wave clearing. The Psychonetic, probably one of my more interested classes that, other than the Skullbreaker's class. The magic in the preview screen really gets me uh, wanting to upgrade its class really quick. At the beginning, the Psychonetic probably won't be a lot of fun for a lot of players, as its attacks are very slow in my opinion. What? How did he get me? Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! I didn't really play a lot of the preacher, but it's highly maneuverable. Trap shooter, pretty self-explanatory. Relies on its weapon and its abilities. I don't really have any issues with the general gameplay. Sometimes the movement does feel sluggish and the stamina bar runs out too fast, in my opinion. I kind of wish the movement was a little bit less clunkier. I, I've not played this map. You got asthma or something? I don't know. I don't think that was me. <laughs> I think that was this guy, uh, <laughs> whatever his <laughs> old Amar. <laughs> I feel like resources, med terminals should be highlighted rather than just showing you an icon through the wall most of the time. Sometimes, if I don't have teammates going up to it first, I will miss the thing completely. Again, this is the beta. Not really a lot to go off on. Classes and weapons, there's only four of them at launch. Like, there should be upgrades for class abilities rather than just the weapons. Many of the maps feel overly large. There are lots of empty rooms which have neither reward or any items for the players. Oh, I blew myself up. All <laughs> uh, right, let's dive into the quality of life issues I noticed when I was playing the beta. So right off the rip, I noticed that there's no numbers over teammates regarding HP and shields. The game does allow you to see HP, but not shields in the bottom left corner of the screen. However, a lot of times I overlook this. I wish they would do something like Overwatch and put a medical, need medical icon when the teammate's running low on health. No ability bar to see who has their ability ready, and there's no ammo counters for teammates to see who actually needs ammo or grenades. I feel like that'd be super helpful. There is a ping indicator, but the ping, I have to hold down a button and then select the ping. I don't have that much time to select three options for a certain ping, so I feel like that should come down to just a single tap of a button. It may have been in there, but I, I noticed that the ping was was kind of like that. It was, it was a three-step pr process. There is a killing blow indicator. It's really That's tiny. Awesome. If not, it's not even there most of the time. I feel like I, I'm killing things so quick. I, I, I'm, I'm, you're busy. <laughs> what can I say? You're busy in this game. Icons for ammo med kits aren't very discernible. You can see people have that have med kits and ammo in the bottom left of the screen, but I feel like it should be a little bit more apparent that somebody has that in their in their inventory and they're just holding it for the entire game. I had someone holding a med kit during the entire boss fight and I'm just kind of being cons conservative the entire fight because I have below 20 HP and this man's holding his med kit the entire time and I don't have time to go into the chat and I did have my mic set up too so that was kind of my fault. At the end game screen I noticed that there's a lack of individual stats regarding my player and my teammates Tell me how bad or well I performed during the game. Two other small issues that I found in, this, in the forum post. One thing that I agree with is that weapons should be replaced with actual stats, meaning the ones, the weapon stats that were in the beta were kind of un unexplained. Next is that uh, resources across characters will not be shared, so there will be a artificial grind for everything from currency to weekly challenges. There is also an inability to pick bot classes when you are solo or missing players. Inability to switch operators in a mission lobby, which I actually think that's one of the bigger issues. I I got into a lobby with four skull breakers. We got all these we got all these big people in the ship. Oh, they got cleavers too. 
Hey! We got three Hogan's. Let's f***ing go. <laughs> And for a lot of people, that's probably not an issue at the lower threat levels. However, in the higher threat levels, the skull breakers are at a disadvantage because of the support players not being behind them, being able to overall support. The the skull breakers, they thrive in up close combat. We don't have a lot of range. We have a shotgun cannon, which can flatten things from range, but we are also slow, so if you spread spread apart, I noticed as skull breakers, you can't really help each other. Again, I didn't really play the beta that long to really divulge my issues with each with each character. I was just able to pick pick out the quality of life issues that I was having in the game. But from an overall standpoint, I think the game is pretty polished. I love the combat. I'm addicted to the combat, and I and I honestly wanted to keep logging in just to keep mailing. I think the melee on the on the skull breaker is my favorite out of all of them. And the the shotgun cannon. I love using the shotgun cannon to, to, to put people on their butt. <laughs> Let's talk about the hub. The hub, this is where you are going to be starting out at as your character. That's where you're going to be able to start your missions, buy weapons, all that kind of stuff, and see other players. I feel like the hub is a little empty. There's no emotes in this game. There's no public shooting range. There's no voice chat or interaction in the hub. Wish there was a little bit more of that. Also notice if I am queued up with a friend, I can't actually go into the same hub as them, even though they're on the same part of the planet. <laughs> I'm forced into third person instead of giving players the choice between third and first. I like third person, honestly, but I feel like that could be a cool choice to give us. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that gives you a little insight uh, about this game and some issues. Overall, I think the game looks and feels great. I think the issues I stated are pretty small and wouldn't really affect your average casual player. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe button or like button. It really helps me out, and I'll see you in the next one. Yep, it came up. Uh, ooh, we got level three mouse for a level. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> no idea either. We're just gonna go for it. I know I it. selected a bunch of stuff and it kept telling me don't wanna, you know, I don't want your threat level too high, because then you'll, you won't... Well, this is going delightfully. Oh, I see what killed you. It's like a trap or someone throwing it. Oh, snap. Alright, we made this. We're back. What? What? I was testing my ability. Dude, get him off me. What? It worked. Oh! <laughs> ah! What? <laughs> yeah, he's so fast. Oh God. Oh God, I'm moving back. I'm moving back, bro. Holy crap. Oh, there's like nowhere to go. Oh! Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a lot of people. Oh! James! <laughs> James! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I got you. <laughs> oh, shit. Stick together, stick together, stick together. I'm dead. I got sniped in the back, dude. Oh, I can't save you. I cannot. I'm just a mage, dude. I'm just a mage. <laughs> oh, my God. Are we all dead? Yeah, we all dead. Yeah, we're all dead. <laughs>